East Kentwood High School will have extra security in place for its graduation ceremony tomorrow. This comes after two people were shot in the school's parking lot during a graduation for Crossroads Alternative School last week. 13 on your side's Elena Holland is live in Kentwood. What, Elena, what kind of steps are police taking now to keep everybody safe? Well, in light of that shooting that you mentioned last week outside of the East Kentwood High School, expect to see some more police presence at the graduation ceremony tomorrow. Now, that's just one of the extra measures to keep people safe who are attending. In addition to caps and gowns, more officers, a weapon scanning system, and trained dogs will be in attendance at the East Kentwood High School graduation Thursday. Just that peace of knowing that they can relax and enjoy the event is important to us. Kent County Sheriff Michelle LaJoy Young says her office will be providing that extra police presence, but she says it's something they're doing for other schools as well this graduation season. We, we want them to be thinking about the graduation, be thinking about the milestone of their young person in their lives, celebrate the wonderful um, achievement that is, and know that we're paying attention to what's going on as they attend that ceremony. Two people were injured in a shooting in the school parking lot last week after the alternative school's graduation. Two suspects are in custody and investigators are still looking for six more. Both the superintendent and the sheriff called the incident isolated. Sheriff LaJoy Young says they do not have any known security risk for Thursday's event. It really, really gets down to is constant vigilance, uh, cooperation from the community and everybody understanding that it's all, all of our responsibilities to keep each other safe. There will also be strict ticketing policy and no bags or re-entry allowed. After last week's shooting and the Texas Elementary mass shooting, the Joy Young says she wants people to feel comfortable at the school event. Yeah, it's difficult. I have to be 100% honest on that. The thought 30 years ago when I started my career that this is what we would be worried about in 2022 never occurred to me. In a statement, the superintendent Kevin Polson said that he apologizes for any inconvenience of these extra measures, but it keeps with their commitment to keep the health and safety of everyone intending at the highest importance. Reporting live in Kentwood, Elena Holland, 13 on your side.